making a vlog, it's called How to F*** a New Harley. I'm leaving Geelong, I'm leaving my home, and I think I'm gonna go and travel around Australia. I think I'm gonna to go to Cape York, then I think I'm gonna go across the Gulf of Carpentaria, then I'm gonna to head to Darwin on a motorbike. Do you know how cold it is? Six degrees. I've just traveled 750 kilometers today and I've made it to Yass. I've slept like absolute shit. So I'm gonna head through Sydney, then to Brisbane. The problem is it's raining. Um... <laughs> So day two, this is a pad tonight, 129 bucks. Since yesterday I've done 1,600 kilometers on the bike, which is um, pushing the envelope. I'm gonna slow down now. How you going? Not too bad, mate, how you going? Come in. Nice helmet. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You're not worried about the camera, are you? Nah. No, all good. Um, should we put this on the table? Yeah. All right. I've got a YouTube channel. Yeah. Do you follow YouTubers? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to hit 10 million subs, mate. Yeah? Yeah. What's the name? It's um, called Million Dollar Bogan. Million Dollar Bogan? Yeah. I'm friends with Kate. Do you know Casey Neistat? I've heard of that name, yeah. Yeah. What about PewDiePie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, PewDiePie's my brother. Oh, okay. Just pulled up at the W in Brisbane, it's stinking hot. This 
is one of the coolest hotels I have ever stayed in by a mile. The quality, the finish. I mean, I mean, I don't know what that's for. And you know, they've, they've even bought this. If you bring your bird, like if you bring your parrots, you can put your parrot in there. I mean, they've just thought of everything. Woo! Two thousand two hundred and fifty kilometers in two and a half days. What's the view like? Amazing. <coughs> it's five twenty a.m. today. I'm gonna try and make it to Mackay. That's um, nine hundred and fifty-three kilometers. Yeah, on to Mackay. We're starting to head up to far north Queensland. Here we go, let's do it. honest I don't know where the hell I am if you're traveling around and don't stop at random places to explore I think you're nuts I hope there's no snakes it's pretty you can feel the serenity Done 800 k's today. I am in the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, 175 k's to go, and I'll be at um, Mackay. And um, I'm pretty fatigued, so I've just got to take it really easy riding. I don't normally smoke, but. I've made it to Early Beach and it is absolutely stunning. I mean, check this out. Sundays and um, yesterday I drove from Brisbane to Mackay 955 kilometers is that recording 955 kilometers and to be honest it was probably too far it's about 31 degrees so today is Wednesday I've been going for so Saturday lunchtime Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday. so this is day four for me so I've done 3,600 kilometers on the motorbike bike's awesome <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be really honest about Dingo Bay. There's no dingoes. I personally think that's false advertising. And a little bit misleading. Anyway, let's keep going. So I've made it to... Um, Townsville. I'm in Townsville. So um, it's day six. I've done nearly 4,000 kilometers on the bike. Um, I'm absolutely as sunburnt as shit, even though I did put sunscreen on. Um, and I'm feeling pretty windblown at the moment. Um, I feel like I've got sand in my eyes and... Um <laughs> Thank you. 
about 200 k's away from Cairns I'm not exactly prepared for um, exploring at the moment although I do love this stuff because I've got no water on me and the fuel cage is nearly empty so pretty pretty irresponsible really but now there's no crocs in here well that's what they say Yeah, well, there's a lot of shit that moves around here, especially on the ground. I think this is some sort of lizard. I don't know if it's dead or not. It's dead. It's been a long day, finally made it to Cairns. Um, I've done just over 4,000 k's on the bike, but the view's pretty good. So I'm just on the outskirts of Port Douglas. It's day six. I'm about to head inland. I'm heading to a place called Lakeland. Now we start really, we're starting to get off the beaten track now. It's f***ing hot. I've got four litres of water as backup on the bike. It's uncomfortably hot, even riding. <sighs> Show goes on. So we're definitely up north now. I don't know where I am at the moment, but I just took a little detour because there's this random cemetery here. sort of weird it's sort of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so I've made it to Lakeland and um, trust me there's no lake in Lakeland um, just desert that way there tomorrow morning is Cohen we go straight up then and then up to Nanam which is pretty much as far as I can go but there's a sign there saying that there's crocs everywhere I'll show you today's riding was pretty intense to be honest at one point there I stopped at a lookout and I started going back the wrong way a hundred kilometers my sat nav must have stopped working and I just got confused and um, there's obviously a big fire somewhere at the moment, so you can smell fire in the air. I'm really starting to feel that I'm um, alone, you know, I'm just on this journey on this bike all by myself and I'm starting to feel quite vulnerable and, um, you know, if something was to happen. But, you know, it's only 100 or 200 k's between um, service stations and whatnot, so... But um, I'm eating a lot of junk food and I've just booked into the Lakeside Motel and um, the guy reminded me something out of a Norman Bates movie. I'm just wondering whether or not there's a TV in the room and even if there's a bed. Please God, let there be a TV. Please God, let there be a TV. Yes. <coughs> Gonna be honest, this is perfect. Nothing to whinge about, 100 bucks a night. Okay, it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm now about to commence the long ride to Cohen. I'm unsure what the road's gonna be like. I'm unsure about the big trucks, um, but I've gotta be really, really careful. Um, it's about a seven to eight hour ride today, so I'm leaving early, and um, we're heading directly up north now, so we're really heading into the Cape. <laughs>
cloistered in injustice, dead in the eye of time. Nobody is losing faces, merchant change, but your face remains the same. people have to be so negative I've just I'm on my way to Cohen and I've just stopped at this this store this petrol station I didn't even think it was one that looked so bad but I thought I'd go in there and I'd you know ordered a cup of coffee and bought a few things and I didn't really need the things I just did it just sort of to be polite and um, I said to the ladies is the road to Cohen is it all sealed or is it dirt and I knew it was dirt but she goes she goes it's fucked I said oh yeah no worries she goes are you going up on that and I felt like saying no, no, I'm actually taking my helicopter that's parked out the front. The bike's just for show. Anyway, she goes, ah, oh, it's fucking rough. And, you know, she went on and it's really negative. And I saw her go inside and have a little chat to her husband. And they were, like, looking at me like I was some dickhead. Anyway, about ten minutes later, the husband brings out the coffee and doesn't really say anything. You know, not, wasn't exactly friendly. Anyway, I go to get on my bike and the husband walks up to me and he goes... So where are you going? And I already knew he knew where I was going. To, to, to Cohen. He goes, on that? I said, yeah, mate. He goes, oh, the track's fucked. <laughs> I said, oh, well, it'll be an adventure, won't it? He goes, fucking oath it will be, mate. 